Welcome to another one of Heisenberg's Gear Reviews. Today we are reviewing Hammock Gear Economy Burrow uh, <laughs> Sleeping Quilt. As you can see, I am sitting on it right now. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, you know, as far as the sleeping system, I'm going to go ahead and give this like two thumbs up and I will tell you why. I've come up with a list. A pros and cons of my hammock gear economy burrow 20 degrees Fahrenheit rated sleeping quilt. Ah. And, and please note that the economy burrow at hammock on hammock gears website it comes in different ratings. You know, I think it starts at 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. I think those are the all the ratings you can get. But I have a 20 degree bag and it has been the most versatile for me. Oh, and I should mention that it's, I have a 20 degree bag with two ounces of overfill because you can customize it when you plus two OZ overfill. When you order the bag, even, as, even though it's only called the economy bro and not the custom, you still get to customize it a little bit. And at 20 degrees, it comes with a certain amount of down. This is a down bag, a down sleeping quilt rather than a synthetic. And I customized it and I added two more ounces of down to it. I don't know how that affected the temperature rating, but I was, it, it, they, you know, it was suggested to me, so I did it. All right, and the pros. I'm going to go for weight. The first one, the weight. This quilt weighs, I, I think mine's, 27 ounces with the two ounce overfill but it's going to come in at about 25 ounces so what is that you know a pound and a half a pound and a half for a 20 degree bag that's not that bad that is not that bad warmth this thing is warm i've had my my quilt down to the teens let's see i think the coldest i've been to is 15 degrees and that was in sassafras gap in georgia or north carolina in the early appalachian trail this year and it was cold, but I stayed warm. Let's see. Durability. Yes, I've had this 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 quilt almost the entire Appalachian Trail. And I'm now on the Arizona Trail. And it's, you know, there's no rips. There's no tears. There's no down coming out. I have not had any problems with durability of the quilt. Compressibility. All right, this is one thing. I don't know exactly how far you can compress it, but I know you can compress it pretty well. Uh, I use, they just sent me a, not a compression bag, but a stuff sack that I use to put the uh, the quilts in. And I actually prefer not to use a compression sack because if you use a compression sack, it, it deteriorates, it breaks down the down prematurely. Like it, the more you can press down, the, the less insulating, uh, you know, ability it has. So I prefer just to use the stuff sack they sent with me. And I have a big backpack. I have like a 55 liter backpack so I can fit, you know, this whole bag if it's filled up in there. You know, I don't have to compress. I don't have to compress the quilt. You can compress the quilt really, really small, but I'd rather not do that because I want the longevity. I want the durability. And I want, you know, I just want it to stay warm. I want it to keep me warm for a long time. But if you have a really small backpack, you can compress it down with a a compression strap, a compression bag. The price, this is a big seller for me too. Cause I was looking at bags, you know, especially down bags are expensive, but this one, I think it retails at like 270 or something. But if you go to Hammock Gear's website, they're almost always running 20% off, 25% off. Like all you have to do is give them your email and sign up for the newsletter and, and they'll knock like, what, what is 20%? That's one fifth of 200, like 40, 50 bucks off. And so you'll get it in the mid 200s after tax with the discount, which is pretty good. Because if you look at any other 20 degree down bags, you know, of comparable weight, you are going to spend a lot of money. A lot of money. Uh, now let's go to the cons. Cons, is since this is a quilt, it requires a high R value sleeping pad and straps. And I highly, highly recommend... 
that if you are really wanting to take this thing down to 20 degrees or below, like the, the quilt itself is rated for 20 degrees, but if you're going down 20 degrees or below to have a high R value, and R value is just a, a measurement of how fast uh, heat dissipates or heat transfers in a material. Anyway, so the higher R value, the, the slower heat dissipates or transfers. Anyway, you want a high R value pad and the straps that Hammock Gear will set to sell straps to attach the the quilt to your pad all right and i'll show you those let's see let's see all right so this is my pad i have a thermo rest neo air x therm which is about the warmest you can get and you get these straps you have and one two and there should be one more strap at the top three three straps and the quilt comes pre you know pre 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 set up for attaching straps so you want to get the strap attachment kit the pad the ground pad attachment kit that is a con so you have to buy that extra and you need a high r value pad to use this because if you just have a cheap pad like or you just said you're just sleeping on the ground you will lose a lot of your heat through the ground because the quilt is only going to cover the top part of you and then the second half of your sleep system is your pad which is going to keep the heat from dissipating below you whereas if you had a traditional you know what am i talking about a, a traditional mummy quilt it surrounds you you know 360 degrees and so it kind of has some insulation at the bottom of you but in a quilt the quilt does not have insulation at the bottom if i can show you you know, it's just open. There's no, it doesn't surround you back there. So you want to have a very warm pad, especially if you're taking it down below freezing. Yes. Oh, and another thing, it does not have a hood. Like if you think of a traditional like mummy, mummy bag, let's see, let me draw one for you. I don't know. My drawing is not going to be very good. It looks like a mummy. Okay. Here's the hood. Like you have your little face opening right here. You know, your body's down here inside the bag, and it surrounds you 360 degrees. You have a zipper over here. And then you get in, and your head sticks up in this little hood. You know, your face is sticking out right here. Like, hey, there's a little smiley face. All right. And the quilt, it does not have a hood. You know, it's just this section going up. And so below freezing, your head is sticking out in the cold air. Woo! And that makes a big difference. Let me tell you. When it gets below freezing and your head's sticking out, like, yeah, you can wear a, a, a knit cap or a beanie. You know, I have a beanie on right now, but that is not enough below freezing. And so <laughs> what I've had to do is I have to get down when it gets below freezing, especially below 20 degrees. I have to get down in the fetal position, bring my head below where the end of the sleeping bag ends. And then I have to be down here, like curled up like this which is not the most comfortable position. If I were to spend a lot of time below freezing, and especially below 20 degrees, I would want something with a hood so that I can stretch my body out the full length of the bag and then have my head up here inside of the hood. Because being crunched up within the sleeping bag for a long time overnight is not the most comfortable thing. So if you're spending a lot of time under 20 degrees under freezing, you may want to look for a, a traditional mummy bag and not just a quilt. But that's not that's nothing against the economy burrow, hammock gears of economy burrow. I think that's just a criticism of quilts in general. If you're going to spend a lot of time below freezing, I'd suggest the mummy bag versus just the quilt, which is what I have. You know, this is more for, you know, 20 degrees and above. Mummy bag, if you're going to spend a lot of time in freezing, get that. I, I just want to reiterate this. I got the 20 degree economy burrow plus two ounces of overfill. I don't know how much, you know, the two ounces of extra down affected the the temperature rating. I'm not really sure, but I know I'm comfortable down to 20 degrees and, you know, I could probably survive all the way down to, you know, 10 degrees. I, below 10 degrees, I would, I don't know, that, that'd be a little too cold for me. And ooh, also, when you go in, you, you get to select different options. You get to choose, like, if you want to add any overfill. And you can also get to pick how thick of a, the liner or the fabric you want in your bag. I believe mine is the 20 denier. It's, it, it, I think it's either 10 or 20. I think the lowest is 10D and the highest is 20D. 
And personally, I would get the 20D because if you get 10D and then your bag falls apart, you know, you're out of $200. So I would get the 20D just for like a minimal weight gain. It, you know, the, the durability savings is, is huge. So I don't know how much it increases the weight to go from 10D to 20D. I just know, you know, in terms of durability, I would get the 20D and it's, it really doesn't weigh that much more. I would like to reiterate that I am not sponsored by Hammock Gear. I am not sponsored. But if you want to sponsor me, I will accept the sponsorship. So this is an actual, like, review of the quilt. I know I see a lot of reviews out there, and it's just, uh, I don't know, fake. It's, it's, it's a company paying for some social media influencer to uh, review their gear. And they have, whoever's reviewing gear has never used it before. They don't know how it works. I have carried this quilt the entire Appalachian Trail, and I'm on the Arizona Trail now with it. I trust it. It keeps me warm. I, I'd, I'd go down to 10 degrees with it, Fahrenheit, below freezing. You know, I'd, I'd, it's, it keeps me warm. But really, if I were to spend any significant amount of time below freezing, I would, or in the teens or the single digits, I would want to get a traditional mummy bag, a zero degree with a hood. But for my purposes, I, I don't, camp deep winter in really cold places this is like a good all-around bag i mean during the summer when it's in the 70s and 80s it's overkill like you're not even going to sleep in the bag you might not even sleep on top of it but when it starts getting down below 50 degrees at night you want the warm bag and it's nice it's nice and it's nice that it's so light and it goes all the way down to the teens and and you can be comfortable in it I'm all bundled up. Got the quilt, straps, and the pad. And you see, if it gets really cold, if it gets really cold, I have to get down under here and get in the fetal position. But that's not that bad. I don't plan on camping in really, really cold weather. This, this quilt does it for me. I forgot to mention, still on the quilt. All right. Still on the quilt. I am, I am five foot ten. I am five foot ten, and I have my feet all the way to the end of the quilt, and this is where it comes out. It comes out to my chin. All right, and this is how I normally sleep in it with my head sticking out. But if it gets below freezing or below twenty degrees, I have to curl up in the fetal position inside the quilt. On that note, if you are six foot or above. I would suggest getting the longer size. I think up to six foot, you're probably okay with the regular size, but above six foot, I would, ugh, I would get the longer size just so you have more fabric to work with. Yeah. <laughs>